Okay, today what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to start out and what I'm going to call this is uh, the basics of Windows XP. I've been requested to do some basic things in Windows XP to show some people what you can do in Windows XP, the, what Windows XP has in it and the things that you will probably uh, run across that you would like to do but you don't know how. Uh, I'm not taking it for granted for one second that everybody out there knows everything about Windows XP. Some people may have just started learning things on a computer and the first computer they get may have Windows XP. Uh, a more experienced person might have done moved on to Windows Vista or even Windows uh, 7 or, or you bought a new computer and it had one of those on it or you might have bought a new computer that still has Windows XP on it and uh, you're going to use it until you can't upgrade it no more and there you go well you're going to be stuck with it a while so you might as well learn it first so one thing I'm going to show you today if you're just a basic learner and and something that you might want to know how to do is what do I do with my pictures now I've got a digital camera but I don't know how to get them on my computer I don't know how to set it up so I'll be able to see them or how do I do all that well in Windows XP the way I learn and the best way I can show you myself is that if you're going to add some pictures from your camera or anything else, USB or uh, flash drive or whatever, uh, the first thing you do is to know that if you got some new pictures that you want to put in my pictures in Windows XP, the first thing you need to do is say, well, I know these pictures here uh, was taken at a certain date for a certain reason at a certain event or whatever like a birthday party a wedding share a, a wedding or uh, whatever so I would go to start and go to my pictures that would be the first thing I would do and after it comes up knowing that just like I have uh, these pictures here in this folder my little grandson there in that one uh, different things in here and here Lake Cumberland graduation uh, all these are folders that I've made this one here sample pictures are for background and other uses that comes in Windows XP but that's all you have all these others I have made folders so I can put different pictures from different events into it so the first thing I would do is say alright I need to put those pictures on here so I need to make a new folder so I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call that new folder right here it says new folder but I'm gonna change it I'm gonna say uh, desktop pics and that's exactly what these are going to be they're going to be desktop pics now this folder is called desktop pics in my pictures so we'll get out of here and I'm going to use a USB uh, that I have some that um, my uh, wife has put on this USB for me and on that USB it's got desktop pics folder that came off of her computer that she has downloaded and collected of uh, horses and backgrounds which makes a beautiful background scenery for your desktop or for other things you can make a slideshow out of it. you can do so many things with them add them in other pictures but uh, right now I'm gonna push in the USB just like you would your camera and when you do your auto run is going to come up and <clears throat> it's going to have on the auto run uh, what 
it's going to ask you what you want to do. So, as soon as it comes up, there it is. Okay. Now, now this is a big USB, so it takes a minute for it to load. It has like four gigabytes on it. So, always go down to open folder to view the files. That's what I do, especially on pics and something I want to see what's on that flash drive or my camera drive, whatever I'm using. So, I'll say, click that one and then say, okay. Now, it's going to open that flash drive up and I can see everything that's on there. Or I would be able to see whatever is on my camera or anything else. So we know it was desktop pics. So uh, if it's in a folder or if they just pics out of here. And that's all you got on there. I'm opening this folder up. And it's going to show you all these pics here. I don't know how many exactly it is. Um, but what we're going to do is say uh, I want to put them in that folder in my pictures. How do I do that? Okay, edit and say select all. See that? It got every one of them there. Every one of them. So then after selecting them all, you go and say copy the selected files. And it's going to come up with this little block right here. Now. I want to copy these files into my documents, so I need to hit the plus there on my documents, and then I need to go down to the folder in my documents that says my pictures and hit the plus there, and that's going to open up my pictures, and then now that I've opened up my pictures, Here's desktop pics, the one that I made for it. So I'm going to click on it and say copy. And you're going to see this little bar come up and copy them all there. See there? It's copied them right into desktop pics. The other folder was desktop pics. So it's copied them from it to it. And now they're all copied. Click up here. Let it off. We'll get out of there, which was the USB. Now we're going to go up to my pictures and we're going to go to desktop pics which right now it's going to be let's see right here so we're going to go in there and there's all those pics every one of them was copied into desktop pics in my pictures and I'm going to have to uh, uh, show you something that you can do with this in another video because these videos can only be like 10 minutes long for YouTube but that'll be part two uh, one thing that I will show you real quick is any of these pictures and you know I've got a, a maple tree on my front desktop so uh, what if I want this maple tree Let's say I want it for desktop or this picture of these horses. But I'm going to put this maple tree here. So I'm going to right click on it. But I didn't have to. All I had to do is highlight it. And I'm going to say set as desktop. So you're going to see when I click off here, it's my desktop picture now. See there? That barn, that old sugar tree there I call it maple tree ain't that a pretty picture and I tell you anybody that wants these pics all you got to do is send me a message on Shenandoah on YouTube and uh, give me an email address and I'll put it in my Dropbox and you can download them automatically so until the next time I hope this helps you and subscribe to my channel and send me all the email or all the messages you want to. I'll be glad to do any video that I can that's requested of me. So thank you again. And until the next time, this is Shannon Doe. Signing off.